Nets have been responsible for the death of 33,000 sharks and thousands of other marine life in the past 30 years, becoming a leading cause of anthropogenic mortality. Shark nets are used to isolate shark populations from swimming areas due to the negative relationship between sharks and humans. In relation to this issue, O'Connell et al.'s 2014 paper, Effects of the Shark Safe Barrier on White Shark Behaviour and its Implications for Future Conservation Technologies, studied the effects of the shark safe barrier on white shark swim pattern and behaviour. As seen in the image displayed, O'Connell et al. accomplished this by using two different styles of barriers. Visual artificial kelp, labelled the procedural control, and electrosensory magnets, labelled the magnetic region. The study also included a control region, which was not manipulated. Pictured as the Dyer Island National Reserve, where the study was strategically located due to the consistent annual population of white sharks. Over a two-year period, 49 one-hour trials were conducted. Natural fish chum was used to attract the white sharks towards the designed area, where their exhibited behaviours towards the barrier were assessed using two research vessels nearby. Pictured as the behavioural ethogram that was used for sharks that approached the barriers, five key behaviours were recorded. Visits, avoidances, entrances, passarounds and no reactions. To validate surface observations and identify individual sharks, an underwater camera was used. Table 4 depicts the results of the behaviours that were exhibited by the white sharks. As seen in Table 4, the results show the magnetic region had the highest influence on exhibited behaviours, followed secondly by the procedural control. Notably, both the procedural and magnetic regions had zero entrances, whereas the control region had 256. Reflected within the data, the white shark behaviour was affected by the shark safe barrier. This was shown for the procedural control and the magnetic region. However, the magnetic region had the most significant results overall. An additional 2014 study on bull shark exclusion properties of the shark safe barrier and behavioural validation using ARS technology by O'Connell et al. furthered the research of this particular article. This study replicated the method of the previous study, but instead studied bull shark behaviour rather than white shark behaviour. In addition, the researchers also used ARS technology to determine the distance and swim speed of the sharks in relation to the barriers. Both of these studies concluded that the shark safe barrier affected the swim pattern and behaviour of the two shark species. These results provide a foundation for future marine conservation through the employment of eco-friendly shark netting. With the continuing decline of shark populations, this study is an important article of research that can be employed within future conservation strategies.